Welcome to you, welcome to you dragons. Uh, this is your Chinese tarot reading for the year of the rabbit, or the cat if you use the Vietnamese system. Now this is for dragons and that means you were born in a certain year so there's a crib on my description that allows you to work it out. However because of the year and it changes each year but this year it runs from the 25th to about the 10th of 25th of January to the 10th of February. If you're born in late January then it's a bit more difficult and you need to google it to work out what sign you are. But whatever, I hope you really enjoy this dragons. Now, dragons, first and foremost, I should say, this is about a year. Uh, so, therefore, it will reflect the ups and downs over the course of a year. And whilst there are some cards that maybe give cause for concern, I think, overall, it's quite a good reading. In fact, if you look at that central card, the Page of Wands, this is a card of you seeking inspiration. In fact, I think in this year you're going to get this inspiration. It's like you're looking for something in your life and, and I do believe that you're going to get it. In the past we have the Empress card which suggests that you're in control of both your conscious and subconscious. Very much in touch with nature. Also somebody who very much enjoyed the good things in life. But not in a sort of way that you want to keep hold of them. Willing to share that with one and all. And you know maybe that has led to what now is the Seven of Swords. Somebody trying to take something from you. Somebody not playing fair. It's a winner takes all sort of attitude. And I, I think it's a sort of a winner takes all in a very childish manner. Now this could be personal to you, but of course it could be related to world events. And it's, if it is, it's your slow realization uh, that everything in the world seems very rigged at this moment in time. Uh, the future card, card of the future is the Knight of Swords. That's you being brave, you being courageous um, you not having any fear uh, and moving rather quickly again is it related to this deception uh, the card leading to the outcome is the knight of pentacles a very determined knight a very methodical knight a knight you can rely on who gets the job done uh, but unlike the Knight of Swords, a knight who's very slow. Now remember you're seeking inspiration. Is it that you eventually find the inspiration and move from this slow-moving knight to this quick-moving knight? What would change things is the Judgment card. Now this is the Day of Judgment. I mean, it could be related to you. But I'm getting messages from everywhere. The judgment is coming for those who have harmed us. And the final card is the Eight of Wands. And this is very much in keeping with the Knight of Swords. And indeed the Page of Wands. And that is you finally see the direction you need to move. You have your ducks in a row. And you move in that direction with a vigour and with a determination. So as I say, it looks rather good. Now we have this page of wands in this central position, so it reflects on all the other cards, and I think it's a great card to have here. It's a card of you seeking inspiration, it's a card of you looking for new ideas, discovering things. But it's also a card of you being a free spirit, somebody with limitless potential. 
And I think if you look at the situation the world finds itself in right now, we need people like you, Dragons. We, we need people who are willing to think outside the box, people who are looking for solutions to answers that they don't even perceive perhaps correctly what the problem is. But they know there's something deeply, deeply wrong in the world. And those people were willing to abandon their previous thought patterns are going to be those who we look to for leadership. Because it's clear our current leaders aren't offering any at all. Are you going to become a leader, Dragon? I don't know. Uh, you look at the card, there's a coyness about it, isn't there? There's this little shyness. She doesn't really know where she's going. She knows she wants to go somewhere. And I think that's a lovely spirit to have in those these times, dragons. I really do. Now, I think probably all that's happened, and certainly what's going to happen in 2023, or the year of the rabbit, is going to come as a shock to many people. And they're going to find that those things that they thought they had that were firm, they lose. And in the past, you have the Empress card. Someone who's in control of their feelings, in control of their conscious and subconscious. Somebody who's very much in touch with nature. Uh, somebody who, who um, loves the good things in life. Uh, but wants to share them, wants everybody to enjoy them. It could mean a pregnancy, and, and if you look at this rendering, she certainly does look pregnant, so I don't know if you've had a family quite recently. It could well be that. Uh, but undoubtedly you're worried about the future, if that's the case. If not, I think you're worried about, you know, you, you're used to luxuries. And, I mean, if you're in Europe, the price you're paying for energy now, you can no longer afford those luxuries. Many other parts of the world, you know, food prices, whatever. And you're just generally concerned about it. Now, your current energy is the Seven of Swords. It's a card of deception. A card of somebody trying to win at all costs. A card of, yeah, you being, you being deceived. Somebody's trying to take something from you. Somebody's trying to take something from you. They probably know what they're doing is wrong. They might not even get away with it, but it's happening. You look at her, she's got those seven swords in her hand, but she's sort of looking round, you know, will she have second thoughts? Now, I mean, it could be entirely personal to you. You know, I mean, it could be just a random event. But I think so many of us right now are worried. Are we going to lose our life savings? Are we going to lose our job? Are we going to lose this? I mean, I for one, you know, I live in Indonesia and I'm from the UK. But I think after my last visit, I've resolved I'll probably never visit again because of the difficulty of taking long haul. In, in booking them, in once you've booked them, you know, the, the cost is just phenomenal. And, and then the differences between, you know, you, you can't, you, it's very difficult to spend cash any longer in the UK. Just enormous difficulties. I mean, you, you certainly can't, I mean, you couldn't visit the UK. Well, I couldn't have done what I did without a buying a SIM, you know, a UK SIM card. And, you know, I don't really go on a holiday to, to... Not that this was a holiday, but I don't go on holiday to use my mobile phone, you know. So, I, yeah, it's... Yeah, as many of us have this feeling that, of great loss. And I, I, I think it might reflect that, you know. I think it might be that. Your future energy is the Knight of Swords. 
Somebody who's brave. Somebody who's determined. Somebody who moves quickly. Somebody who knows what they're doing. Somebody that's moving almost into a leadership role. And isn't that what we need now? Yeah. Yeah. I, I really think that you're beginning to get to grips with what's happening. You know, maybe it's just local. But it could be could be wider than that. And, and you're determined to do something about it. You're determined to do... And it's not in a reactionary way. It feels like a very thoughtful way. But you're brave. You're brave. You know, you're saying, hey, things shouldn't be like this. They shouldn't be like this. And we can't go along with all this. You know, in my village, um, there's been a lot of problems. A lot of problems in the family. But a lot of problems. And... I went to visit the graveyard and I found that my Dukan, that sort of shaman brother if you like, has been performing black magic rituals for want of a better word in the graveyard. And you know, I, I, I've come out as a hero in the village because I wasn't frightened to go to the graveyard and wasn't frightened when I found this evidence of rituals and I've sort of emerged as a bit of a sort of leader hero and particularly because I, I know it's my brother brother-in-law who's done it you know and it's 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 a gesture like that that I think you're going to come out with you know it might be very personal to you it might not have a wider context but you'd be, <coughs> you'd be surprised how these acts spread The energy that leads to the outcome is another night. Uh, but if you remember, the last night is the future. So chronologically, the last night is probably after this night. This night is the Knight of Pentacles. He's also brave. I mean, you can certainly rely on him. He's somebody that will get the job done. Very, very reliable. Very methodical. Uh, but crushingly slow, unlike the Knight of Swords, who's quick. He's a knight that puts one foot in front of the other, you know, he, he just plods on, he just gets on with it. And again, I think we need people like that right now. And, you know, even if this is entirely personal to you, in the face of the adversity of somebody trying to trick you or trying to take something from you, you're just plodding on, plodding on with things, thinking about it, thinking about what you need to do as a person and I think that's very admirable you look at him you know he does look determined doesn't he it looks fairly parched I mean he, he looks to be a British soldier during the the Boer War doesn't he and you know it would have been parching in South Africa you know it would have been a difficult situation to be with be in but he's brave you know he's, he's, he's going to see it through Now the card that would change the outcome is the judgment card and this is a day of judgment I don't think this is against you for one minute I think it's the person who tried to deceive you now you know as I say it might be entirely personal uh, but I'm, I'm feeling in my bones that this day of judgment is coming now I, I'm not putting it in the sort of in the real biblical sense of it uh, but in the sense that those people who've sought to cheat others those people who've lied to others those people who have made money from the suffering of others are going to get their comeuppance in Indonesia we have a legend of Sabdo Palon and that's very much about this sort of situation <coughs> we believe that Sabdo Palon has been awoken. Um, that, yeah, those who are responsible for the misery of others are going to get them come up, come up. Now, as I say, it might be entirely personal, and you know, 
you don't do it. It's not up to you to do this. This is going to be nature, the universe, God, whatever way you want to see it. Uh, but those who've schemed against you are going to come crashing down. And that's why we need leaders like you, who are brave, who are fearless, and know what they're doing. Yeah. And the outcome, I think, is a great outcome, given all that I've already said. It's the Eight of Wands. Remember, this comes from the Knight of Pentacles, the slow, the methodical knight. So by taking your time, by weighing things up, you suddenly get your ducks in a row. You suddenly know what you're doing and you go off in a direction with vigour. It's like you've suddenly been empowered to do things. And, you know, it's this transformation from this Knight of Pentacles to the Knight of Wands. So both are brave. Both you can rely on. You can probably rely on the Knight of Pentacles more than the Knight of Wands. But the difference with the Knight of Wands is he's quick, you know. And so, you know, I think it's related to this deception. And as I keep saying, it might be personal. Uh, but you've not reacted quickly. You've not sought revenge. Uh, but and, and I think the revenge comes from... God, nature, or the universe, you don't need to take it. But once you see this lie of the land, you know what to do. You know what to do, and my God, you're doing it. As I say, it feels like you're a leader, because it feels like you've got this sort of knowledge of what to do and how to do it. I'd like some clarification on this Seven of Wands, not least as I've gone off on one about world events. And as I keep saying, it could be entirely personal to you, and I'm not certain the clarification sorts that out. Uh, but the first card of clarification is the Ace of Swords, so this is you getting some new information. So it's you realising that you're being deceived. The second card is the, third, uh, the Three of Swords, so this is you having a broken heart. So a broken heart from the deception. Is this about love? I'm not certain it is. It could be one that you do love that's been deceiving you. But the final card is the star card. Now this is a rebirth. This is hope. This is new hope. So that doesn't all fit in with the description I've already given. I mean, it still could be personal. Let's look at each individually. Now, if you remember, the whole, whole reading is influenced by this you-seeking inspiration. And this Ace of Swords is that inspiration coming to you. And it's inspiration coming to you about this deception. So you do see through this deception. You do see through it. Remember I said that this deception, they might not get away with it. I mean... They might still get away with it, but you will understand what's happened. You will just be able to grasp what's gone on and why it's gone on, you know. Um, does it mean it's not personal? Certainly not, you know. It, it could well be personal to you. It could be that you're deceived. could well be you're deceived by a lover, which, you know, the next card would indicate. But it might also be that you realise you've been lied to and deceived at a much sort of higher level. Um, uh, you know, it, it could be some investments that you've made that now look to be a bit silly. But I, I just keep coming back to this sort of world events thing that you're beginning to see through things. I really do feel it's like that. And we now have the Three of Hearts, which is the broken heart. 
And does this mean that the person who's tried to deceive you is somebody you love? Well, probably, probably. Have you caught a lover cheating? It could be. It could be that. And, you know, that's very much an alternative explanation to the one that I've been leaning to. Uh, but if you do see it as a realisation that we, the public, have been deceived, greatly deceived, then it might indeed break your heart. I mean, my heart has been broken. Uh, I've been a, a business person and an educator most of my life. My business was sort of public policy research for government. And I sort of now look back at my life and, you know, I, I suppose, well, I've got a good few years before I die, but saying, what have I achieved? And, yeah, I've got something of a broken heart because I've achieved nothing. I've achieved nothing because of what I thought was the way the world worked. What I thought I was doing for good. It's not done any good whatsoever. You know, as an educator, what did I really achieve? Nothing. Nothing at all. In public policy research, what good did it do? None. None. I mean, there is no public policy research any longer. You know, um, yeah, yeah, my heart is broken and maybe yours is in the same way. And now we have the star card. Card of new hope. A card almost of rebirth. A card of... Yeah, yeah, great new hope. So it's as though you had to have this deception, have your heart broken, for you to see things clearly. Now again, you know, it might be that somebody cheated on you, and, you know, a lover cheated on you, and you needed that to see clearly, see clearly what you must do with your life. But could it be these deeper things that I've been alluding to all along? It certainly feels like that to me, you know. I mean, this is the course over a year. And this next year, this year of the rabbit, is going to be a tumultuous year for all of us. That is for certain. Tumultuous. And I think you do find this new renewed hope from it. Uh, maybe people start behaving differently towards one another maybe we really do but see that we're all in it together as opposed to this sham we're all in it together that's been going on I don't know I don't know but it's a lovely card to have here it's a lovely card to have here well I think we can summarize for you dragons dragons the year of the rabbit is going to be a tumultuous year for all of us. A year of major ups and downs, a year of major upsets, a year of... Well, a year of all sorts of things, all sorts of shocks. And you're not immune from them, but you do feel like something of a leader. And the reason is that during this year you're going to be searching for information searching for understanding on what's going on and i think you get it i think it's all precipitated you used to feel very comfortable enjoy life's little luxuries but you weren't mean you shared them with others you had a deep intuition as well but somebody tries to take something from you now, it could simply be a lover who is cheating on you. Uh, but you see through it. You see what is happening. And yes, it does break your heart. It does break your heart. But this leads to massive renewed hope. A massive, almost rebirth. 
you be you end up a very changed person and this change dominates this reading which which i think is rather beautiful um you're you're, you're determined you're strong you're brave but normally you move very slowly so if you do feel like you've been deceived you're not one to lash out no you're, you're biding your time but there is a determination to you you might not be seeking retribution but seeking just to for you to put things straight in your own life and do you know you do you do because you move from this sort of very slow and determined and brave to very brave and quick and you do so because you, you get the information you're looking for and I think it comes from this deception and you get the information you're looking for and as a result of that you get your ducks in a row you know what you want you know where you're going and you know how to do it and from having been a very slow moving person you're now very quick so you were contemplative, but you're now quick. Now what might stop you from doing that is that there is judgment coming. This is a karmic judgment. So whoever it is that has tried to deceive you, they're going to get their comeuppance from God, from the universe, from nature, whatever way you want to see this karma, but they're going to get it. And maybe you won't be quite so such a leader if that happens i'm not sure i'm not sure was this all entirely personal to you it could well be however could it be referring to world events it doesn't half feel like that it really does feel like that to me uh, but whatever i'd say to you dragons this is your year to shine it really is Thank you.